Hi and welcome back to my series on the cash conversion cycle. Um, today we're going to look at the day's inventory outstanding and I'm going to go through the theory, how to calculate it, how to compare it and then we will have a nice and clean example where I will show you how to calculate it using real numbers from Apple. How do you calculate day's inventory outstanding or in short DIO? Uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to take the average inventory that you hold over the period you want to analyze and divide it by COX times the number of days you're looking at. And COX, I know there are some dirty minded people out there, but COX is cost of goods sold. So what the hell do these numbers mean? Let's figure that out in the next part. A low DIO is better. And the reason for that being is that you're able to manage your inventory much more efficiently and you have less cash trapped in inventories. And a high DIO obviously is uh, the opposite. So it's worse, cash is trapped in your inventories and uh, you, you defer sales into the future, which is not good. And just to get an idea of what typical numbers are for the DIO, metric. Um, the food industry has an average of 6 and the steel industry has an average of 50. So be aware that when you're comparing numbers that the company you're comparing with or the industry is related to the company you're actually analyzing. And now let's get into the example in Excel as I know many of you are actually just here for looking at some more Excel spreadsheets. Great to still have you here guys, let's get into the example. We will look at Apple, therefore I have downloaded the income statement and balance sheet of Apple for the last 10 years, at least the numbers for the last 10 years, and um, I copied the inventory and cost of revenues into this spreadsheet just to get a better overview. The first thing you want to do is calculate um, the average inventory held over the fiscal year, which is a pretty simple calculation. As you can see, you just add the two numbers from the last two years and divide them. Divide them, obviously, am I mistake? Divide them by two. Now we can just drag the numbers to the right. Obviously, the last number has no value for us. And the next step is to actually calculate the day's inventory outstanding. So this calculation is also pretty easy. You just take the average inventory and divide it by the cost of revenue and multiply this with, because we're looking at one year, 365. And by just dragging it over, you can see that the day's inventory outstanding are for the end of 2022, or at least their fiscal year, which is September, I believe, was 9.49. And now we could go on and compare it with competitors of Apple to see if their day's inventory outstanding is good or not so good. So thanks for tuning in and um, see you in the next part concerning the cash conversion cycle.